Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another trope recommendation video for you. This one is going to be Second Chance Romances. Second Chance Romance is one of those tropes that's like probably not really one of my favorites, but I feel like when it's done well, it can be done really well. And so these are some of my recs that fall into that trope. The first one is About Tomorrow by Abby Glines, and this one is, like all Abby Glines books, it is a small town romance, and it follows a girl who is moving into her grandmother's house. Her grandmother has passed away, and she has inherited the house, and her boyfriend is still in, I believe he's in med school, so he's going to be in school for a couple more years, and they agree that she's going to move into the grandmother's house, and he'll live in an apartment that's closer to the campus, that's about an hour away. and. So he is moving in and she has come with him while he's moving in because the furniture is not going to be delivered to her grandmother's house for a couple days or whatever. And so she's staying with him in his apartment and he's got a roommate. She meets the roommate and she's like, cool, whatever. And then she ends up meeting the roommate's cousin or friend or whatever it is. And she recognizes him as the boy that she spent like all her summers with when she was a kid visiting her grandmother and is kind of like oh my god like this guy is literally still here like this is crazy and he just keeps kind of showing up like in all these places that she is and she obviously like has a boyfriend so she's like yeah not gonna happen kind of thing but like obviously like stuff happens but I'm gonna leave it at that but this one definitely has like the second chance vibes like they were together when they were in their teens and then something happened that caused a rift between them and now they are older and sort of back in the same place Next is The Crush by Penelope Ward. This one, I will say, it has been a little while since I read this one, but I do remember really liking it. It follows Farah and Jace, and Farah's parents are killed in a robbery when she's pretty young, I think, like in her teens maybe, and she ends up like, you know, she's with her older brother going about her life, and Jace, who is her brother's best friend, ends up leaving for like nine years he just like goes off to college and doesn't come back and she's like okay like guess we'll never see him again kind of thing and Farah and Jace end up moving in together and it's sort of like a, a thing but <laughs> they end up moving in together and they sort of start seeing each other in secret and her brother finds out and sort of flips out and Jace just like disappears for three years and the way this book is written is kind of odd actually because I remember reading it and it starts out the book where it's like three years in the past so you're getting the story leading up to Jace leaving but then it jumps the three years that he's gone and like obviously they meet up again after those three years but in the time that you're reading that whole first part of the book you sort of forget that you're not in the present and you're like reading this book and then all of a sudden it's like three years later and you're like what the heck just happened and so it's like super weird written book but it's definitely like got the second chance brother's best friend kind of thing and I just like I said I remember really liking this one when I read it and that's why I wanted to include it in this video next is rookie move by Serena Bowen I love the guy in this book so much he's one of the sweetest guys I think in any of the books I've ever read he is just like so in love with the girl in this book but basically they were dating in high school and she breaks up with him at the end of high school and sort of says yeah let's go our own way like for college and whatever kind of thing and he's kind of like what the heck like I wanted to be with you forever like why are you breaking up with me and they go their separate ways it's now like years later and he is a professional hockey player and he ends up getting traded or drafted I don't know onto this team anyway he ends up on the team and he doesn't know like much about the team and they're looking for a new coach that's all he knows and the new coach ends up being this girl's dad and he finds out when he gets there the girl is also working for the team as the publicist so he is like oh my god I can't believe they're back but her dad's like being like such a jerk to him and he's like what the heck did I do like I was nothing but good to her and you know she dumped me kind of thing like why is everyone angry at me and he just like is like great I'm gonna get kicked off this team and like this is the you know starting my NHL career and it's just gonna end because my ex-girlfriend's dad hates me kind of thing and he is just like so in love with her like I said throughout the course of this book like it is such a sweet book and he is like such a cute guy like I just I really really loved him in this book and I think this book is like so so well done and I just really really love them like they definitely like have like their second chance like they broke up and now they're like older and back together and I just like I really if you're gonna read one book from this video, read this one. 
Another one from this series that sort of falls in that category is Pipe Dreams. This is the third book, I believe, and this one follows a couple who sort of is on the rocks, I guess you could say. And the guy is a hockey player, and they decide they're going to split, and he starts seeing an assistant on the team. And that's who the, the book sort of follows, him and this assistant. And once they start, like, being seen together, there's all these rumors that she's like the other woman, and then she finds out that he's maybe not leaving his wife, and she's kind of like, okay, I'm never letting this happen again. She's like, I'm gonna go, like, have a baby on my own, like, I don't need men anymore. But he definitely, like, reaches a point where he realizes, like, oh, hey, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but, like, I kind of had to kind of thing. And they kind of start working through their issues. Another really, really cute hockey romance. I really love this series as a whole. If you haven't read it, it's really good. Super underrated. Next is Forget Me Not by QB Tyler. I love this book so much. I feel like I love so many of those, these books, but this one is about a guy who gets in an accident and ends up forgetting. I think it's like the last year, and his soon-to-be ex-wife comes to like visit him in the hospital or whatever, and he doesn't remember that she has like filed for a divorce and they were splitting up and that he was like dating some other girl and whatever he just remembers being like madly in love with this girl and so he's like so confused when she's like dude we're not together anymore like get your shit together kind of thing and he's just like what are you talking about like i love you i would never like do anything to like leave you or anything and she's like well you did so like too late now kind of thing but he genuinely like can't remember what he did and what happened and so it's like them kind of working through it and obviously like he needs someone to help take care of him because he like literally was in this accident and this one is just so so good and so different from anything I've ever read and it's definitely like a marriage in trouble sort of second chance kind of thing because they were like sort of I consider a second chance because they were like separate even if he doesn't remember it before they get back together so I think that that's like counts right? I feel like that counts. Next is The Understatement of the Year by Serena Bowen. There's a lot of Serena Bowen books in this video, I'm realizing now. But this is the third book, I think, in her Ivy Year series. You don't have to read them in order. This is an M.M. hockey romance where the two guys, I'm not going to say they were like in a relationship when they were younger, but they were definitely like, I don't know, like friends with benefits maybe you could say when they were younger. And then something happens that they both don't see each other for a long time until one of them gets transferred to the other's hockey team in college and they are kind of face to face again and kind of at this like weird place of like one of them's pretending he doesn't know the other one and the other guy's like what are you doing like we used to hang out all the time and whatever but the one guy obviously isn't out so he doesn't want everyone to know that he's been with this other guy and so it sort of goes from there it's definitely like like I said they're not really like in a relationship so I don't know if it's really second chance but it's like they were together and like definitely heading that direction if they like stayed together any longer but now they're like older obviously and kind of getting their second chance at it so I really like this one I love like any hockey books obviously so this one's right up my alley next is Bloody Heart by Sophie Lark this one is part of the Brutal Birthright series this one follows a guy Dante and girl Simone who are dating when they're like I think they're in their late teens early 20s maybe when they're together and Simone's dad finds out that she's dating like basically a member of the mafia and he's like yeah can't have that so he sends her away thinking like oh that'll put a stop to it kind of thing so she goes off for a couple years I don't know how long it is maybe like five years and then she ends up coming back one day for an event and runs into Dante and things kind of go from there this one is really really good I love like the entire Brutal Birthright series is really good and this one like definitely like second chance they and he's like super mad that she left and you know the whole thing and she was like oh I can't be around the mafia people and now she's back obviously with the mafia people and it's just really a good book and the whole series like I said is good you don't have to read them in order like if you just wanted to read this one you totally could next is bad girl reputation by l kennedy this is the second book in the avalon bay series this one is not out yet it comes out in october i believe it's october 4th i'm pretty sure and this one follows jen and evan who were kind of always getting into trouble with each other when they were kids and one day she just kind of decides she's had enough she disappears moves like out of the town and doesn't see him for years actually maybe it's only one year and she ends up coming back because her mom, I believe, has passed away. 
And so she's back in this town and Evan's still there kind of like upset about their breakup situation and she's back she doesn't want to stay and he's like convinced that he's got to win her back and they were kind of always partying and like super crazy and she just kind of wants him to grow up and he's just like not and i really liked this one i definitely liked it better than good girl complex but it's definitely got that like small town like vibes where she's like oh i'm gonna go to the city and like you know be super successful and just like ends up back in the town with the same guy kind of thing and I did really like this one. Like I said, it's got their second chance. They break up when they're teenagers and now it's like a year or two later and they are face to face again. Next is Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. This is their newest release. This one follows a girl who is living on a ranch with her dad and she's dating this guy and this guy gets a call that his mom has been in an accident and he has to leave immediately and he just never comes back. And her life kind of goes like downhill afterwards and she ends up running this like treasure hunt tour company after her dad passes and he was super into like the treasure hunting. This one reminded me a lot of like Outer Banks. He was super into the treasure hunting and so she, you know, is running this like cheesy tour that she hates and this guy ends up coming back years later. I think it's like 10 or 11 years, like there's a big gap and he comes back and he doesn't realize that it's her like tour or where they're going because they go on like this guy's trip every year that only one of them plans and they don't know where they're going until they literally get there and so he has no idea that this girl is going to be there and obviously runs into her again and is kind of like trying to explain himself and she doesn't want to hear it and I just really like this one I liked it more for like the adventure aspect than the romance aspect but it did definitely have like that second chance romance you know plot line to it which was nice as well Lastly is Every Summer After. This one I recommend a lot, but it's very similar to Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. It follows a girl who spends her summers at this cottage, and there's two boys that live next door, and the older brother is kind of always like telling the younger brother to go hang out with this girl because he wants to go hang out with his older friends without his little brother. And so he's always pushing pushing them together, and they end up becoming like really, really good friends and hanging out all the time and like spending all their summers together and stuff. And then they reach like, I don't know, maybe like 18, like high school, college age, and something happens where there's a falling out between them and they sort of break up. And now it's like years later and they've run into each other again. And it's written very similarly to People We Meet on Vacation or Love in Other Words, where it alternates between the present and the past summers. So you're sort of getting to see like them falling in love in the past and also what they're doing in the present. And so I really liked this one. This one's by Carly Fortune, by the way, I don't think I said that. But I feel like everyone's heard about this book by now because it's like the book of the summer. And I just really like this one. I liked the setting and like the different aspects. It's definitely got the second chance, you know, storyline to it. And so those are all my recs for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I do new book videos every single week and I'll see you next time.